my name is Alex and we are inside of Cargo Streetwear, a newly opened uh, streetwear store in Indianapolis. Everything in here is sourced individually by us. What you see is what you get. The store just happens to have everything else that you would like, plus two in-house brands. So we have uh, Kamefi and Wishful Thinking, and then our collaboratory, I guess, clothing brand is uh, the cargo brand for the store. It's really hard to get people in the door um, when you're trying to grow a brand. So like the way to kind of market to other people and even just do some of the education of like other streetwear brands. We decided that it made sense to build a store that's centered around our brands and then bring in other things that kind of complement and support our brands and culture. So we decided to open a store in a shipping container because we had a store in 2017 in Fountain Square and uh, the building got sold. Without that opportunity, we would have never known that we could have had this store, so. So we figured, why not open a space that we'll never lose again? And now we have a container store. Essentially, we're gonna give other people an opportunity to kind of try it out, um, even just like with our guest rack in the front, giving people an opportunity to you know display their clothes or their brand for a weekend, promote it, bring people here, um, and have a platform for people to touch it and feel it. So I mean, streetwear has just kind of been something like this deep rooted for me. Growing up, I wanted to, everything that I saw on Tumblr. You know, before you had to find a website to buy it. Hopefully, it wasn't fake. When you think about it. A lot of people kind of skip over indie when it comes to like cool niche things. There's a community here, but it's just not as big as some of the other places. It was just something that made sense for us. It's something that we were already rooted in, um, and it's something that we really wanted to highlight here in Indianapolis. For us, we like to be able to bring that to the people you know that we grew up with, people we see each and every day. My favorite toppings on a hot box pizza would be uh, pepperoni or like uh, the porky the pie. Uh, it's a good, uh, it's a good drug pizza. Those are my dying choices. Thin crust, party cut, of course. Man, I, you know, old school classic for me was always like sausage and mushroom. I know that was weird, but I was like eight years old and I was eating that and I'd throw anchovies on it every now and then. What do you think about pineapple on pizza? Nah. No pineapple on pizza? Pineapple on pizza to me is like, we're crossing lines because we're adding citrus to savory and like, I don't know if you know anything about culinary, but that's like kind of a weird thing already, <laughs> so.